episode 385, I'll come back to quest for you. Starting out with a quote by American novelist and nonfiction writer Anne Lamott. Oh my God, what if you wake up someday and you're 65 or 75 and you never got your memoir or novel written or you didn't go swimming in warm pools and oceans all those years because your thighs were jiggly and you had a nice big comfortable tummy or you were just so strung out on perfectionism and people pleasing that you forgot to have a big juicy creative life of imagination and radical silliness and staring off into space like when you were a kid. It's going to break your heart. Don't let this happen. My message on this Friday at the end of January is so simple, yet so hard for many. Live your life and love your life. Don't hold yourself back because you're not perfect, because you think you don't look right, or don't have the skills required, or whatever else you think you're missing. Lean into your life and live it fully. When life knocks on your door, open it. Don't say, not yet, come back later, like many people do. Our self-consciousness, our fears, our worries, push them aside. When the opportunities arise, to swim, to dance, to get naked, to sing, to laugh, to speak up, to dream, to question, to look someone into the eyes, then do it. It's life calling on you to participate, despite your not readiness that's really just an illusion. To enjoy life, we don't need anything. Definitely not perfection, or the right figure, or the newest car. We simply need to open the door and step into it. Sometimes this may require stepping over others who are trying to hold us back. Sadly, there are people, sometimes our own family members, that point out limitations, obstacles as to why we cannot do or achieve what others can. Then we need to remember, this is our life, and they are not in charge of it. When joy calls, when you long for something that's right in front of you, when a long-awaited opportunity is finally here, then you go and take it, despite what others say what your ego says, and all the other little voices that want to hold us back. This week, we talked about assertiveness, an important episode. I encourage you, if you missed it, to check it out. Being assertive means to speak up for yourself, and it also means to live and enjoy your life. As soon as we hold back because of fear of what others might think, we become passive. And, as Lamar tells us, we will regret it later. We will look back and wish we had lived more fully, more openly and with less care about what others might think. Don't let it happen, my friends. And if you want to hear more from Anne Lamott, check out her amazing TED Talk, 12 Truths I Learned from Life and Writing. I will link to it in my show notes. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And don't forget, you are amazing. You don't need anything else. It's already all here. There is no scale or model in the world that says this is who we need to be, other than those created by marketers that try to sell us more. We're all created so uniquely, and there's room for all of us here on this earth. You will not find your spot in the sun if you keep hiding and pretending you are someone else. You need to stop with the looking and start living. This is how you will find your place in this world. Much love.